there, this is Erica Torres Dusiak, and I wanted to do a quick update from my surgery 11 days ago. What surgery do you ask? Well, I had fat transfer to my breast 11 days ago. And so the phrase that best describes that surgery is, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that kind of just says it all for me. So, you know, I had, this is my one, two, three, fourth surgery. So I had like finger surgery, put a pin in my finger when I was 14, don't really remember that experience. Had breast implant or breast augmentation surgery 17 years ago. I thought that was painful. I had my breast implants taken out a little over three months ago. I thought that was painful, but none of that compared to the pain that I experienced in that first week after the fat transfer. So if you haven't been following my story, I got my breast implants taken out a little over three months ago. You can watch other videos on why and what my symptoms were uh, from my implants. And I will share more in the future on how I'm feeling as far as my health after taking them out. But today I just wanted to take a moment and kind of update you on my experience. So to do the fat transfer, obviously they have to take the fat from someplace, right? Which means you're getting liposuction. And I was told that I wasn't really big enough to have liposuction from some surgeons and physicians that there wasn't a whole lot to take. And I felt that there was. <laughs> um, you know, I felt like, you know, in the past I've weighed 10 pounds less and I thought they definitely could, could take some from someplace. So because I didn't have enough fat in one particular place to get as much as they wanted, they had to take it from several sites. So they took it from my arms, see these cute Nike armbands, and they took it from my flanks and they took it from my upper and lower abdomen, they took it from my inner thigh, they took it from my outer thigh, um, so if that sounds like a lot of places, to me it is. And <laughs> the more places you have liposuction done, the more painful. Um, and so I think the, the, the most uncomfortable pain was the first four days or so. Um, you know, one, like going to the bathroom was very interesting because I was super swollen in my thighs and they give you this one piece bodysuit garment that you have to wear 24 seven and it has a little cutout at the bottom for you to do your business but when you're swollen down there it makes for a very interesting experience so that was complicated and then because it was the inner thigh was my most painful and then my arms would be second but just like moving and trying to get up and sliding um was very painful and so they want you to walk for about an hour a day even on the day of your surgery crazy um not maybe 60 minutes all at one time but like 20 minute increments and it took me a couple days to get to an hour and you're walking super slow and it was just a painful experience i'm not gonna lie it was definitely more painful than i expected um, but it's been nine days. The worst part is over. I'm in normal clothes, except for the fact that I'm wearing these cool armbands. But, you know, I can wear jeans over my bodysuit and feel somewhat normal. And so, is there still pain? Yes. Actually, today I had my first lymphatic massage. And um, I guess that's to just kind of help drain things and make sure you don't have lumps and all that stuff and uh, it was a little painful but it was tolerable and I'm able to move about and I can walk normally again um, and so as far as the results clearly it's only been nine days I will tell you in the first week my breasts were like at least a d cup they were humongous and I was super excited because I was like, whoa, of course they're going to go down because when you lose about 30% of the fat when it's transferred. And then, of course, they're swelling on top of that. So I, I would say by 
the eighth day, I really noticed that it went down quite a bit. I don't quite know where they are. Um, hoping they kind of stay where they are, but it'll be a interesting experience to see where they land, so to speak. But for the most part, even though it was super painful, I will have to say that it was worth it. I mean, I had breast for 17 years and they were a part of me. And when they were taken out, I wish I could have said that I adjusted well and I still felt up myself, but I didn't. And um, it was definitely kind of not all consuming, but it was bothering me. And so I'm glad I did it. I'm hoping that I have something to, to stay from this surgery, that I went through all this pain for something. And so if you're considering fat transfer um, after you explant, uh, I, you know, I obviously didn't do it all at once. I know some people have. I was told that you don't really know how your breasts are going to kind of end up once, you know, you've taken them out and given them some time to fluff up and all of that stuff. And you may decide that you don't want to have anything extra. Um... And I was told also that the longer you're in surgery, um, you know, the more complicated the surgery and that it's better to have two surgeries versus one long one. I don't know if, if everyone would agree with that, but um, I can't say for now if I regret not having it all done at once, but I definitely know having two surgeries was not fun. Um, but I'm so glad they're over so that I can now just continue with the healing process. I think, feel like I've put my body through enough. So now I'm on my second liver cleanse. I did one liver cleanse before my this past surgery. And now I am uh, just started today doing the second one. Obviously all that anesthesia and all that other um, stuff that I had going on before. So I will connect back with you. Uh, I don't know, maybe around five weeks or so when I have my second follow-up appointment, which will be at around the six-week mark, to let you know what the doc said, what stayed, how I'm feeling, and then I'll update you more on my, my health in general. I am actually feeling pretty good these days, especially, I think I, I feel like I feel better endurance-wise after the second surgery than I did before I explanted. I don't know why and what that means, kind of odd, but that's how it is. All right.